Saw's back with Saw X, the checks notes 10th entry in the Saw franchise, the Saw Ga, if you will. <laughs> Let's review it. This is going to be spoiler free, so don't worry about Jigsaw's plans getting ruined. You can see that for yourself. I'm just going to give you the heads up on what to expect. This time Jigsaw, aka John Kramer, is front and center. Played once again by Tobin Bell, he'll be playing him until he can no longer walk. And even at that point, they'll probably still cart his ass out for more. Why not? You know? He does a good job. And they'll never stop making these movies. Ever. This film follows John Kramer and his 45 year battle with cancer. Uh, he's been fighting cancer so long, I feel like he will outlive me. I've seen a handful of Saw films, certainly not all of them, probably you've seen more than I haven't. I'm not huge on the franchise, so you know, you may not want to look to me when it comes to expert opinions on Saw films. But if I take this as a standalone entry, which I almost think the movie wants me to, even though it says it's Saw 10, it kind of feels like its own thing. A rebirth of sorts, even though there is familiar faces here and there. This does have a different style to it. Whereas the past films treat John Kramer as kind of an unhinged psychopath that's justifying what he's doing. This one's more or less, hey, I got a unique set of skills. Skills I've acquired over a long period of time. And now is the time for me to put them to actual good use, an anti-hero-esque sort of storyline. And in that sense, I appreciated the fresh take. Again, if we take this as an actual saga, I think it's bizarre that he continues to elude death. I think he has actually died in the franchise one or two times. And they keep dusting off the old bones and bringing him back out somehow through resurrection, through a seance. I don't know what they're doing, okay? I just know that he's here, he's ready to kill people, and kill he does. We do have a lot of gore. If you were worried that they were going to water this down, no, 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 they, they bloodied it up. There's flesh tearing, brain ripping, skin cutting, good old fashioned fun for the whole family. I mean, not really. I, you don't, don't bring the whole family to this. And unless you're a fan of these movies, I wouldn't go out and see it to begin with. I mean, obviously we're 10 deep, so it has a built-in audience that's going to look forward to these films every time. If you are new to the series, certainly wouldn't start with 10. Because while it does feel different from the others, there's obviously a connective tissue at play. From a visual standpoint, it kind of jumps between two different looks here. We have the gross stuff going on in the warehouse where people are being tortured, ripped apart. And then we have the soft soap opera looking shit that's involved, which is a decent chunk of it. You, you spend a good 25 minutes with Tobin with his character before we even get off to the races. And off with the faces, I guess would be more appropriate. As with most of these Saw movies, I don't care what kind of degree you have. I don't care how much prep time was allowed. There is no shot this 80 year old dude set up all these traps. And I'm pretty positive he did it in like 72 hours in the film. He had like very little time. Of course, we saw him sketching some stuff out here and there, but still, it's one thing to have a vision. It's another to make that dream become a reality. But we turn it off, right? We literally remove some of the brain that has to do with critical thinking and we just watch these movies play out. This is not a great movie by any stretch of the imagination. It's a fine time though, if you're into this kind of thing. Yeah, it's gonna be very gory for you. If you don't wanna see eyeballs popping out, definitely don't go to this. But for people that kinda like the uh, sick twisted shit, I guess I do from time to time. Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna have some fun here. It has a really bad ending, like really stupid. The one thing that saved the first saw for me from being a complete failure, uh, schlocky acting, dumb dialogue, you know, all that stuff was that brilliant twist. And I, I do believe it was brilliant. It really all kind of led to this crescendo of a moment at the end. This movie doesn't have a good ending. It has a very dumb rushed ending. And I felt like, again, I was watching some completely different movie than Saw. I'll leave it there and you can tell me what you thought in the comments below, please. Think about subscribing to the channel. I play a lot of games here too. And those games are movie reviews, movie roasts, live streams, all, all sorts of fun stuff related to movies. We'd love to have you stick around. If you like the video, go ahead and rev up a chainsaw, cut that like button right down the middle. Feel free to splash some sulfuric acid on the subscribe button. As long as it still works afterwards, we're in good shape. And hopefully I'll catch you next time. Oh yeah, John Kramer brought his doll back. He likes to put on the show. The guy's got some flair. What can we say?